I don't get on AliExpress all that often, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to peruse through there and see what kind of cool uh, RGB and computer components are sitting out there. They're purporting this to be a pirate ship fan controller. Now that kind of cracks me up a little bit because I think probably the only thing pirate about it is maybe that they uh, uh, ripped off this Corsair logo without permission, but maybe they did. What do I know? What do I care? Uh, I think this device was about eight bucks shipped and what it actually does is it has 10 of the Corsair four pin Molex connections. Uh, these are the four pin fan RGB connectors for uh, Corsair and it does have 10 PWM ports for fan control. It also has a three pin standard ARGB input connection uh, as well as a SATA power connector. And it also has a little two pin and this is to get the PWM signal from your source uh, motherboard or other controller. And there is an RGB LED underneath this logo so it actually does kind of light up. Now I recently did a video on a couple of different ways to adapt Corsair fans to standard three pin 5 volt ARGB. Now this device would fit into that video, but I found this device after I did that video. Uh, but this is a great way to do that. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if it works. You will have to decide whether this is a device that you have a need for and whether you would trust uh, several hundred dollars worth of fans to an $8 device on AliExpress. The controller does come with a couple of signal cables. It comes with the three pin 5 volt ARGB input cable. And it also comes with that little two pin PWM signal input cable as well. So basically we're gonna connect up the five volt ARGB input cable here. Now I'm going to actually connect this up to IQ Link using the little uh, RGB LED adapter cable from Corsair. If you haven't seen that video on that adapter cable, please check that out. Uh, that gives you control of up to 16 LEDs. So, and I've also got these LL120 fans from Corsair, which oddly enough have 16 LEDs in it. So that will be a great fit. I should be able to control these using IQ Link and this controller here. So let me connect that cable over to here. I've got my adapter cable and that of course plugs into the Corsair RGB LED adapter cable and into IQ Link. So I've made that PWM connection just to my motherboard up there, but any PWM uh, source will be fine. And then we'll connect this little two pin connector to the controller. All right, so we've got our input signals connected. Now we do need to connect it to a SATA power connector, which is embedded right on the device itself. All right, so now we've got it connected there. Now let me go ahead and connect up the first LL120 fan here. Now the first PWM connector down here is red, indicating that this is gonna be where the uh, RPM signal gets fed back from this fan here. So let's go ahead and connect it here. I don't think it really matters which one you connect other than uh, for the PWM side, you do need to have that red one populated in order to get control over it. But we'll go ahead and connect the fan in to the four pin Molex connector there. And we've got the PWM connection. Let me go ahead and make a second fan connection over here on the other side. And we'll just connect the PWM connector. Perfect. And then we'll connect the four pin RGB connector. All right, so now I've got two LL120 fans connected. Let's see if they uh, work and if we can get control over it through IQ. All right, so nothing's smoking, nothing's on fire so far. And we do have 12 volts and we do have some lights coming on on it. And again, this is gonna be coming through the IQ link system. So check out that video on that adapter cable. All right, so I've got my two LL120 fans connected to the pirate ship controller. I've got my RGB LED adapter cable from Corsair that shows up as an XG7 RGB uh, device in IQ. That's just what this cable is detected as. So let's go ahead and click into this and I should be able to get control over all 16 LEDs. Let's go ahead and just put a static color here to see if that is in fact the case. We'll go custom uh, static color and then I'm just gonna click the first LED here and the second one, yep, and that looks like that's moving around just fine. And then I think probably, yeah, the first LED is also the LED on the controller itself. So we can go all the way up to 16, I believe. Perfect, looks good. Of course we can highlight and light them all. And then we can come down here, we can uh, change this and we can apply all of the different sequences here. Color warp, 
Now I've got visor applied and you'll see that it's just getting the signal repeated. It's not going to actually behave normally because it's not a Corsair controller, meaning it's just taking the signal for 16 LEDs and just splitting it out. So they're doing the same exact thing at the same time. Uh, there's just a couple of animations that that would maybe screw up here. Now you don't have to use IQ as the input signal for the 5 volt ARGB, of course. You can use any standard 3 pin 5 volt ARGB signal from any device, including your motherboard or other RGB hubs and controllers. I just happen to be using IQ Link here because that's kind of cool to do it. But uh, overall, this controller seems to be working fine. It looks pretty cool that it lights up the uh, logo. There is only a single LED there, so you don't get a bunch of magical colors out of it and can't do a whole lot of fancy things with it. But uh, it does work. It does look cool. Now, I can't speak for the quality of the components on here for eight bucks. And again, I said earlier in the video, uh, can I recommend that you load this up with 10 fans, you know, PWM and RGB lighting and all of that? Probably not. Not real expensive Corsair fans. I, you know, I just... I can't recommend it because I haven't tried it, I haven't tested it, and I, you know, I, again, just don't know what the quality of this is. I'd hate to see you blow up a bunch of fans with it, but it does work. So this is a, a possible solution that you could look at if you want to use, uh, you know, non-Corsair RGB signals with Corsair RGB fans. Let me know what you think of this device. I think you'll probably find this device under, you know from a couple of different sources. Uh, I saw a couple of these out there. I don't know if like Flying Elephant makes all of them and you know they just get sold through some resellers or things like that. But anyways, I will link to this in the description below. Kind of a cool little device, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns in this video. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching.